I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up everybody? Average Sniper here, just bringing you another PUBG Xbox video. And today we have a settings update, in fact, a big update for the PUBG test server on Xbox. I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to go over each one with you. The first thing I notice is that we have a brightness indicator now um, that lets us adjust the brightness. So I naturally turn mine all the way up to 100 because I'm tired of people being invisible in the shadows. Uh, the next thing we have is the audio and the only option under there is music. So I've turned that off. And then control. I keep my controller binding preset on type A, which is tap once to ADS, but you can change it to type B, which is hold the trigger to ADS. I do not invert my X or Y axis. Uh, my right stick dead zone I keep at 5, and I notice this option for the left stick dead zone. By default it was set to 10, but I changed it to 5 because I like consistency, and I did not notice a difference. Uh, next is movement sensitivity. Um, I put that at 10. That's basically how quick you, I, what I've noticed, it seems to be how quick you turn and respond when you're moving around without aiming at all. Uh, 10 seems to work just fine for me. My vertical sensitivity ratio I have on 100. Um, I didn't notice any changes in, in the way I was aiming or anything like that. So I didn't even mess with the vertical sensitivity ratio. General sensitivity, vehicle driver sensitivity and targeting, I leave on five. And then my ADS sensitivity for all my scopes, I leave on six. Now the aim acceleration is a little different. I usually have that at zero because I don't like it, but on the test server, I had to turn it to 10. Zero was full aim acceleration and 10 was no aim acceleration. This is a common bug and it happens on different Xboxes. Sometimes you put it to zero and it turns off. Sometimes you put it to 10 and it turns off. So you just have to play with it a little bit. Then we have the two times scope sensitivity, four times scope sensitivity, eight times and 15 times. I have all those set to six, except the 15 times I have set to 10 because that's very, uh, very slow. So I like to be able to move it a little quicker. And then we go over to gameplay. We have some new options here. Of course, uh, the language is whatever you want. The DVR, I like to keep that off. I don't know why it didn't apply that the last time, but we'll just leave it on for now. And then uh, kill feed, we have uh, graphic, that's how the kill feed shows up uh, when you kill somebody. Text or graphic, I just keep mine on graphic. I like that more. Colorblind mode, that's another new option. I keep that on normal. I never utilize any of the colorblind modes in any of the games I play. Crosshair color, that's a big one. You can change your crosshair color now. You can change it from, uh, let's, let's go through all of them. All right, so we have green, yellow, red, white, black, pink, purple, blue, cyan and green i keep mine on green because i feel like green pops out the most it's about time they gave us an option on xbox to change the crosshair color and the on-screen key guide this is a new feature on, that shows up on the right side of your screen that tells you which buttons are which this is only to be activated if you have never played this game before and you're not sure which buttons are which i turned it off because it's kind of annoying to have on the side of my screen uh, so following this settings uh, update i'm going to show you some gameplay uh, there's some uh, new scopes um, the two times scope has been optimized and so has the eight times scope. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just show you some gameplay with those and I'll talk a little bit about the update. All right, guys, here are the patch notes for the second edition of the PUBG Xbox one, um, test server. And here we go. I already went over the menu changes, so I don't want to, you know, go over that again. We already did that. So I'm just going to talk about the scopes and uh, different changes that they've made. And I'm going to put a link in the description if you prefer to read this yourself instead of uh, listen to the rest of this video. So it says scopes have been changed to be more realistic. They expanded all scopes field of view. Uh, they added a parallax effect when moving weapons quickly. They added darker edges and uh, color difference caused by light refraction and a distortion effect on the edge of scopes, which is pretty cool. It doesn't, I don't think it helps much with gameplay. It might even make it feel a little bit slower, but it does make it seem a little more realistic. Out of game menus and UX improvements. The cancel matchmaking UI has been improved. You can now cancel matchmaking by holding the X button on any screen except the settings menu. Uh, it says they improved the UI that indicates that matchmaking is in progress. Progress time is now displayed. When a match is found, a countdown will appear. That's pretty cool. Uh, transition speed between menus has been increased, so less lag there. Uh, two new menu items have been added, customization and store. Uh, to get a box, go to store and crates. To open the box, go to my items in the store. I experienced that earlier today when I was buying crates on the test server. You get a million XP uh, or BP to buy crates with. 
on the test servers, the number of boxes that can be purchased per week has been increased significantly up to 100. That's awesome, but it's only on the test servers. Um, after launching the game, a single simplified loading screen pops up before the lobby appears instead of many different screens. That's always been annoying, so that's awesome. Uh, it says they've made a few more miscellaneous changes. Emotes have been added. Emote UI will show up if you press the LB and RB buttons at the same time. Uh, that's not really a gameplay thing, but I guess it's kind of cool that we can do emotes now, like on PC. Uh, we added some contextual on-screen pop-ups that explain button functions. We went over that in the settings menu. Uh, there's a new grenade hit effects and animations. It's pretty cool. It says they removed the grenade's knockback effect for player characters when dealing non-lethal damage. Uh, so if players are killed by a grenade, they'll be knocked back. But if they're hit by a grenade they're, and they're not killed, it, it's not going to throw them anymore, is what I get out of that. Uh, here we go, some bug fixes. Uh, there was a bug causing players to get stuck in a leaning position caused by going prone while leaning. This is now fixed. Uh, it says they fixed an issue causing punching to slow down movement while sprinting. A uh, player can no longer see through walls by going prone near houses with stone steps in Miramar. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, in spectator mode, water sounds sometimes inappropriately continued after changing perspective. This has now been fixed. When preparing to throw grenades, the projection visualization no longer inappropriately penetrates through objects. That's cool. Uh, and it has says one known issue. This is the same as the last bug. After long play sessions of three hours or more on the standard Xbox One and Xbox One S, the game sometimes crashes. This has been a problem for some time. We know about it. In the meantime, there's a simple workaround. Restart the app every couple of hours. Uh, so there is a workaround for the crashes, but sometimes people crash two and three times even after restarting the app. So... We'll see how good that works. We will see how good that works. I've been enjoying the gameplay and the test server. It seems a lot smoother. The frame rate seems a lot more locked in, closer to 30 frames per second. The aiming system actually seems a lot better. I'm, it's probably just because of the frame rate and the improvements they've made to the scopes in the game. And uh, I've just been having a great time uh, playing it. So make sure you download that test server if you haven't already. If you need to update it, it's about a 10 gigabyte update. So if you plan on playing anytime today, I would definitely turn your Xbox on. The update will download automatically if you have your Xbox settings set to do that. If not, just attempt to play the game and it will tell you that there is an update available. And that's the PUBG test server. If you don't have it, you can go to the Xbox store and search for the words PUBG test. You will see a uh, PTS logo for a PUBG test server on the uh, correct download. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video um, interesting and I think I hope you got what you needed out of it. I'll see you guys on the next video or live stream. Later.